Hi there, I'm Tim from Experimental RC, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about KF airfoils. So on a few of my previous builds, I've been hearing the suggestion that I should use a KF airfoil on my wings, so I wanted to do a few videos talking about KF airfoils and looking at them in a bit more depth. A KF airfoil is basically a profile that has a step in it. Usually the step's about 40% the distance from the leading edge of the wing, however there are some other varieties as well. They're very popular among scratch-built planes because of their simplicity to build, and also the structural advantages they have over a regular, unprofiled wing, and they're also known to be able to generate large amounts of lift, while at the same time having a very mild stall. However, according to Wikipedia, uh, citing three independent scientific investigations of the KF airfoil, the reason they've never been used in any full-sized application is because they have a very poor lift-to-drag ratio, meaning they're quite inefficient. Now I wanted to take a look firsthand at some of the characteristics of a KF airfoil, so I decided to do some quick wind tunnel testing. I tested three models, a KF airfoil, a regular airfoil, and an unprofiled wing, all with the same surface area and weight. I tested the lift and drag of all three as compared to relative airspeed at both a 0 degree angle of attack and a 20 degree angle of attack. I did these tests in my homemade wind tunnel, which you can see here. First, let's take a look at lift. I measured this by attaching the airfoils to a scale and recording the change in weight. I took measurements at each tick of my transmitter, which corresponds to relative airspeed, up to 15 ticks, or about half throttle. This graph shows the result with the profiled wing generating significantly more lift than the KF airfoil, while the flat wing generated none at all. Next is the graph showing the results with the wings at 20 degrees, which should be slightly past stall for the traditional airfoil, and interestingly enough, at higher air speeds, the KF airfoil is seen to create more lift than the regular airfoil. The data from this test seems to be in accordance with the claim that KF airfoils have favorable stall characteristics. But what about drag? To measure drag, I needed something significantly more complex. Now I know what you're thinking, that's stupid and won't work. However, so the results from the drag testing were pretty interesting. I found that at 20 degrees, the KF airfoil performed the best, creating just over half the drag as the profiled wing. But on the same test with a zero degree angle of attack, the KF airfoil tied with the flat wing, while the regular airfoil didn't even create enough drag to overcome the rolling resistance of the drag meter which I estimate to be about 0.2 grams. In conclusion, the data from this test does seem to be in accordance with the previous experiments done on KF airfoils. Certainly they do have desirable stall-resistant properties, however compared to an airfoil not at stall, they're not quite as efficient. Truthfully, it's difficult to make any profound statements from this experiment here. Uh, most likely the scientific instruments I'm using have accuracies greater than the differences in data. But one thing is for sure, and that is that the KF airfoil outperformed the unprofiled wing in all categories. So I think I will be trying it out on my next build. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video and stay tuned, I plan to do a flight comparison of a KF airfoil versus a regular wing, and I also have some other cool projects on the go so feel free to subscribe to my channel.